Okay, here's where we are so far. I've got the keyboard plugged in and VGA connector plugged in. There's the power supply um, and the SD card. Uh, this, as you know, is the power I.O. board. Um, uh, finished wiring up the VGA connector tonight and that power serial interconnect. So the only parts left to wire on this guy are um, right here, uh, which is the um, raw voltage interconnect so that I can have a power switch on the front panel. And uh, if you look these components up here on the top, uh, that's for the serial, um, the external serial, which um, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to do that right now because I'm kind of anxious to get the uh, CPU board up and running. Uh, additionally, right in between the voltage regulator and the CPU right here, that's where the uh, propeller plug will be. I'll wire that up at some point. Um, so right now, coming out of that um, interconnect header, uh, we've got um, connected to a um, electronic learning lab from Radio Shack, but more importantly, a breadboard with an AT Mega 8515, uh, which is the uh, CPU of this computer that I've just programmed today. Uh, and uh, let's see, let me reset the uh, power here, control alt delete. All right, so notice that um, I'm driving VGA this time instead of composite, which is cool. Um, terminal 5.2, that's the firmware and the propeller, but then it actually reads the CPU and the firmware that's in the AT Mega 8515, which is also at version 5.2. That's what I programmed today. Let's see, uh, on the keyboard here, uh, well, first of all, notice caps lock, uh, where's num lock? And I think scroll lock too. Okay, they work, but caps lock and num lock come up by default. That's a setting in the terminal firmware that you can change. Do control, alt, and C, and here's what happens. Boom. You get the SD card prompt, so I'll type D I R. Okay, uh, it's reading. Uh, the SD card, in fact, DEL, I'll put this stuff back on here, so I might as well demonstrate that we can not only read, but write, and by write, modify, or delete. Okay. and get out of the prompt and I believe let's see I got a little uh, list of cheats here a little serial console bitrate control shift F7 so let's see control shift let's see if I can do this with one hand F7 okay uh, I think I'm gonna escape. All right, operation canceled, but yeah, that's it. That's where we are so far. Uh, next, I will have to build the actual CPU board and implement the RAM um, and some latches, and then I'll probably be able to load uh, basic which you can see is already on my uh, SD card and it'll be a usable computer. But until then, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. See ya.